This review was commissioned through Patreon. Treasures of the Snow was first published in 1948. It's similar to the second half of Heidi. It takes place in the Swiss Alps, and it's decidedly Christian. The characters often talk about Jesus' transforming love. We start with Annette Bernier walking home after church on Christmas. She ponders the tragedy of the Holy Family being unable to find a place to stay. She arrives at home just as her mother dies from childbirth, a blind grandmother is brought in to help raise the family, and the book skips ahead five years. The Morrill family lives up the hill from the Berniers. Their son, Lucien, is lazy and angry at himself for doing so badly at school. One day, he accidentally knocks Annette into a snow ditch. He's so jealous of her, he decides not to help her get out. When the teacher learns what happened, he hits Lucien with a cane. After school, Lucian destroys a snowman that Annette's brother Danny made. Annette shouts at Lucian and slaps him. Throughout the whole day, and especially at sundown, both Annette and Lucian feel bad about what happened, and they want to apologize. As the Bible says, don't let the sun go down on your anger. But since they choose anger over love, the quarrel and their pain goes on for a long time. Lucian continues to be angry. He torments Danny by holding his cat over a ravine. The cat scratches Lucian, and he drops the cat by accident. Danny falls into the ravine, trying to save the cat. Lucian thinks he's killed Danny, and he is so horrified at his deeds that he runs and hides. The book indicates the torment and regret that Lucian feels is so great, it outdoes any punishment he could suffer. Annette doesn't believe this. She's not satisfied with the explanation that... Lucian feels bad about what happened, so it's okay. She purposely shuts Jesus out to nourish her wrath. Luckily, Danny's still alive, although his leg is permanently injured, and he will be crippled for the rest of his life. Lucian becomes an outcast in the village. The only person who doesn't hate him is an old hermit who teaches him wood carving. The hermit helps teach Lucian about the importance of working for love. This helps cheer Lucian's spirits, even though he's rejected every time he tries to make amends with the Berniers. For example, the school has a carving competition. Lucian makes a beautiful horse. He's proud to finally show to everyone he's not worthless. Annette finds the horse and destroys it, so Lucian loses the competition. They both learn that the love of Jesus casts out all fear. Jesus stands at the door of the soul and knocks. You need to let Jesus into your soul so his light can dispel all the darkness. He will cast out all the anger and other bad things, if you let him. The lessons about Jesus' love bear fruit when Annette is injured. Lucian helps rescue her and they become friends. They both confess to their misdeeds and forgive each other. The book could have ended here, but it goes on for another 50 pages. A famous doctor arrives in a nearby town. Lucian gets a lot of money from the old hermit, and he travels through a terrible blizzard to reach Dr. Givet. Givet agrees to visit the chalet, because he's so impressed by Lucian's actions, and also, he realizes the old hermit's his father. Dr. Givet takes Danny and Annette away for a few months, and Danny's leg is completely healed. Now everybody's happy, and there are no bad consequences to what happened. That's when the book ends. I thought the story was okay, although it's a little preachy at times. All of the main characters are developed and their emotions felt real. The story's simplistic, but hey, it, it works well. It's not that bad of a book. I give Treasures of the Snow a 6 out of 10.